Short sellers fight back, but this time they're not targeting companies, but individuals. According to Wall Street Journal, Carlson Black's latest short target is a Columbia Law Professor. I made a video about him maybe two days ago. So, <laughs> Carlson Black is trying to discredit a legal expert whose research is helping guide a federal investigation of Block and other short sellers. Well guys, this is very very interesting. If the law professor doesn't speak the truth, why they will even get angry about it? Think about it. A federal criminal investigation into short sellers has sprawled a behind the scenes feud between a law professor whose research is helping to guide the prosecutors and one of the most prominent investors in their sites. For those of you who did not see my video about the topic, the guy from Columbia uh, University, he posted a research he has been uh, investigating on his own since 2018. The process of how some of the media, some of these research companies are acting very, very suspicious. This is why, this is why guys, Carlson Black known for public broad sites against companies. He suspects a fraud. He's been waging a campaign to discredit Joshua Mitz, the Columbia University law professor, who has been aiding the U.S. Department of Justice investigation into whatever short sellers use illegal trading tactics to drive stock prices down. Like I said, if the, the Columbia professor doesn't speak the truth or doesn't actually helping the Department of Justice to find the truth, why somebody will even pay attention or trying to fight against him, right? Think about it. But what is actually mind-blowing over here, guys, is that the short seller actually wrote a letter. He reached out to Human Resources of, of Colombia asking for this professor to be investigated. Uh, also to be uh, investigated, not only his research work, he also asked his paid consulting work for companies targeted by the short sellers to be investigated as well. And he also bashes uh, right, his work, academic shortcomings, privately urged Columbia to investigate him and challenge the professor's finding in the research paper on his own. Like I said, guys, this seems to be a very nasty, big, long fight. The reason for which, obviously, it, it's a big thing. And obviously, the Department of Justice wants to figure it out. The question is, which side the Department of Justice will take? Because if the Columbia professor has enough evidence right in his research, if his research is proved to be right and they can actually use some of this data, this could be great. I gotta be honest with you guys, all this makes me extremely bullish on Department of Justice investigation around the short sellers. Definitely they're onto something. I'm also expecting very positive results on this as well. Let me know what do you guys think about this Columbia professor and what should be the next step of the Columbia professor, what should be the next step of the Department of Justice in this investigation? And eventually, are we going to see somebody taking into account from the short seller site? Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video. And of course, come back for more.